got this new chair and wow is it it's it's a comfy chair like it swivels it has the rolly feet it's it's a nice chair like this is i mean it's not like a really high-end expensive gaming chair it's just like a regular office chair but still comfortable it's an upgrade from what i was using before uh, i was actually just using these fold-out chairs they were cool because i could just fold them up store them away when i wasn't using them but this is nice intro Okay, so this is what we're going to be talking about today. Well, not specifically this, but what I'm going to be replacing it with. That's what we're talking about today. So today, if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, we are switching to the Switch Pod. Probably wondering, Vipa, what is the Switch Pod and why are you switching to it? Now let me answer you that by first explaining the Gorilla Tripod. You probably have seen this before in a video too. Maybe you haven't because you know it's what's holding up the camera. But essentially, this is a very popular tool, camera kit piece in amongst filmmakers and vloggers, especially vloggers, because what you can do is you can get the legs and you can you know stretch them out, kind of to a weird little like extension of your arm and you can be vlogging and then you can later on when you want you can just quickly 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 set up the Joby Gorilla tripod as a tripod tripod being in its name but the only problem with this setup is that sometimes there's just wind or maybe you just slightly not set this up properly and uh it's it just it goes it, it's gone it's that's it. Your gorilla tripod's falling over, your camera, your lens with it. And I can't have that happening to my future cameras or my current camera being the M50. If you haven't checked out my kind of review on the M50, I'll link it down below and in the iCard or where I think it I think the iCard's there. <laughs> Pretty sure the iCard's there. I'm putting money on it. I'm pointing to that corner. iCard is here. So go check it out. If you haven't already, but for some reason it's doing really well. Hundred and like four views. That's it's unheard of for me. I get like 20 views per video, but that's probably because most of them are about me. So lucky that this video isn't about me. This video is about the switch pod. So let me just show you the difference between the Joby Gorilla Tripod, which has been a I wanna say sturdy, but it hasn't been a sturdy companion. This is the switch pod. Uh, as you can see, it's already like when you've got the Gorilla Tripod and the Switch Pod in its compact, uh, com yeah, compact. I I, I want to say compact. It's not really compact, the Gorilla Tripod, but the Switch Pod, on the other hand, I mean, that that's impressive. No, so not only is the Switch Pod a lot thinner and more, you know, nicer to hold because I don't know if you can really see, but it has these kind of grooves. It's got these grooves for your hand to like, and that's where your hand is meant to grasp. And that's just, it's a lot more comfortable than holding the Gorilla Tripod where you have to go and start really twisting the legs and then folding them down, folding them just the right way to kind of get your hand in there. And even then your hand doesn't exactly fit in there. So yeah, that's just two things that this switch pod has over the Gorilla Tripod. The way that it feels in your hand when you're just holding them. And not to mention, when I'm holding the switch pod, I can just hold it like, kind of like I'm holding a gun, I guess. Like my arm is just going straight out. Camera is still, hold on. So as you can kind of see, I can just have my arm just go straight all the way out without, you know, using with the tri Gorilla Tripod method, you kind of have to have it as if you're I don't know, hold, yeah, you're holding, you're, you're holding something that has to be pointing out with this, it's got a perfect clean grip where you can just hold it out in front of you, don't really have to be damaging your wrist, I don't think it damages your wrist, but it's kind of nice just to have the ability just to hold it out here and just, the camera can get a perfect view of you even if the field of vision of your lens isn't the best. But that's not why I've picked up this grip because you're probably thinking, well, Repop, it's just the grip, right? That's what the switch pod is. Like, it's not like the Gorilla Tripod where you can unfold the Gorilla Tripod and, you know, have it as a tripod. 
Well, this is called the Switch Pod, and that's why. It's just, I mean, that's that's sturdy. Like, first of all, that is sturdy, and that was so much easier just to set up. I mean, that in comparison to you know having to get the tripod and just. And then you just gotta hope that this thing doesn't fall because you know sometimes they're not reliable. You just don't have time to you know properly set it up. You need to quickly you need to quickly run and gun just set up your camera. Switch pod, easy to set up, easy to go back to vlogging mode, and it's just a wonderful thing. Another concern I do have about my Joby Gorilla tripod because it is unreliable. It has fallen just because like when I've had it just sitting like this, it has fallen off my desk. Now that might be in part because I didn't, you know, set it up properly. But also it's the fact that I have to set it up properly. Like there's only one way to set the switch pod up and that's correctly. You don't have to guess. You, there's no it's just what you see is what you get. It just works. That's what I love. It just works. So yeah, my Joby Gorilla tripod has kind of just fallen off my desk a couple of times. And you know, I guess after falling off my desk a few hundred times and you know, just falling over when I'm vlogging, you don't get to see that part because a bit embarrassing. I guess the legs have just become like, you know, a little creaky, I guess. Not as that strong. And sometimes they just pop off when I'm trying to like, you know, adjust it. Oh, there we go, just popped off as I was trying to adjust it. Of course, even fixed, it does just snap back in place. But the switch pod here has aluminum, so move please. But the switch pod has aluminum, aluminium. Aluminum? Aluminium. I'm from Australia, so I'm meant to say it, aluminium. But I watch a lot of American YouTubers and at every Apple event, they say aluminum. Plus aluminium just sounds like too many syllables. Aluminium. Aluminum. I know, I feel like aluminum just flows off your tongue better. My personal preference, let's get back to the switch pod. A downside to the switch pod is that there is no ball head, so what's great about... Hold on. See, look how handy that was. So what is great about the Joby Gorilla tripod is that it does have the ball head, so, you know, if you do not have it perfect, like, say, it's, if it's, it's leaning a little too far back, uh, you can use the ball head and just make that micro adjustment so the camera is facing you. Can't do that with the switch pod out of the box. But what you can do is just take this ball head off of the Joby Gorilla tripod, the inferior product, and just put it on the switch pod. So yeah, that's an easy solved problem, but maybe you don't want to do that. Or maybe it's your first vlogging tripod and you don't have a ball head around it and you have to go buy a ball head. And yeah, I guess that's a little inconvenient, but I think that the switch pod still is just out nine times out of 10. It's got that height to it especially if you're sitting down. Maybe if you're vlogging out and about and there's nowhere to really sit down the tripod except for the ground, then yes, that might be a problem, but I just, I'm just gonna switch out this ball head, but that's just me. Another thing that comes with the ball head is the quick release plate for the Joby Gorilla tripod. Uh, this may be a downside, it might be an upside depending on how you look at it, but the switch pod doesn't have a doesn't have a quick release plate, it's just the thread which is controlled, not controlled, which you can remove the camera just by tightening and loosening this kind of knob. I don't know if you can see that, please focus. See, it's so thin, won't focus. So the switch pod does have this little knob that you can just turn and release the camera. If you want to attach the ball head to the tripod, it's really easy because of that knob. And I think that's a win because as someone who owns a lot of different tripods, like I have the VO2 Pro tripod, again, link in the description to that video. And I also have the Joby Gorilla tripod, which I might keep using, I guess. And I also have the Ronin SC, so that takes another release plate. So I'm always switching out plates for this camera and my M6. So I guess it's really nice to not have a plate. That's just me, might be a downside for you, but for me, it's kind of a bonus. I really need to get like a dedicated mic. Now, if I haven't finished selling you on this product that I am not sponsored by, I would like to just show you uh, that this one last thing that has been annoying me about the Gorilla tripod for ages, like ever since I've been using it for vlogging, it's just kind of annoyed me slightly. <sighs> this is my camera bag that I'm currently using. It is the Low Pro Freeline BPAW350. Again, dumb name. Everything just has a dumb name. I hate the names of things. Like, 
even the new iPhones are starting to have dumb names. Point is, this has been my go-to camera bag for, for a, a couple of months now, like at least six months. Now, six months isn't that long, but when you're me and have a camera bag problem and you buy one like every six months, six months is a long time. Okay, so normally what I do is I like to keep my Joby Gorilla tripod when I'm vlogging and I'm not using it in the water bottle pouch because I don't want to be holding it all the time and that's why I have a bag so I can fit stuff in it. Now first thing you gotta do with the Joe Big Gorilla tripod is you know kind of make sure those legs are kind of straight so they go straight into the water bottle pocket. Now I can't fit all three legs in so I kind of can only fit in two so just shove in two have that third one just kind of kicking out getting ready to just kick someone in the face walking by because I forgot to release it but because that's not exactly the most secure thing like yeah it would do but I like to tighten it down with the strap so I also have to get the strap loosen the strap to a fairly substantial thing because this is like I said thick boy thick tripod clip the strap up and then tighten the strap but I can't really tighten it because the gorilla tripod so thick it almost takes up the entire strap Okay there, and it's ready to go out for a day of vlogging. Now, something that also annoys me, the release plate and the ball head kind of dig into the side. So I also adjust the plate so it's not exactly, so it kind of sits flush with the bag. So that, that didn't take long, but when you do do that over and over again while you're vlogging throughout the day, it does get really tiring. Let's turn it to the switch pod. So, so going from switch pod tripod mode to switch pod folded up mode, really easy like that. I took less than a second. Now because it's so thin and sleek, it can just slip through that first strap and then slip straight in to that water bottle pocket. And you can see it's a lot more flush with the bag. The switch pod is just a lot. Let's look at the tripod. Thick, you, you notice that. You can, you can notice that I've got a tripod on one side the switch pod not so much so yeah i am now switching to the switch pod because it's just i think it's a much better tripod for vlogging and all that daily vlog stuff i don't do daily vlogs as you can clearly tell for my pretty inactive channel but for vlogging i think the switch pod is going to be really nice and for just as a regular tripod it's also a sturdy sturdy tripod of course i will be putting a ball head on there just because i feel like all tripods should have ball heads but who knows maybe i will just keep using it without a ball head because it's such a slim and sleek form factored tripod and just putting a ball head will kind of ruin that but yeah those are my thoughts on the switch pod uh link is in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself bear in mind the switch pod cost me about 230 australian dollars while the gorilla tripod only did cost about a hundred 130 I think give or take 130 so hundred dollars difference so really you have to figure out if that sturdier build of aluminum is worth the cost if the ease of use of just flicking out those legs is worth the cost if the slim profile is worth the cost to you that's up to you now to me definitely worth the cost because I did buy it I'm not sponsored would love to be so if you want to send like 50 more switch pods my way I will happily accept them. Alright, so that's all I've got for you today. The camera's all the way over there, so I can't do that weird hand cover up the camera thing like most YouTubers do. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. Might be a vlog, might be another sit-down talk. Who knows? I hope you enjoyed. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it real. Be real. Keep it real. Wow. I'm not good at ending videos or starting videos. Hell, I'm not that good at the middle part either. I'm just not good at videos yet. Whatever, I'm rambling. Have a good night, day, evening. Like, comment, subscribe. Cool. We're done. <laughs> that light's just, it's kind of, it's really handy. Okay, yes, we are rolling. Wonderful, wonderful. Testing, testing. <sighs> what are we talking about today? It's a good question. Maybe you haven't because it's been you. Maybe you haven't because that's what. Maybe you haven't because you know it's what's holding up the camera to be making these videos. Good thing this video isn't about me. It's actually about switching to the. Oh my god, this is in 4K. I just realised. Still looking at my face. Still looking at my face. Can't look at my face. My face is coming here. Another great thing, another thing about the switch pod is that it doesn't have a quick release plate. Now that may be a down. Another thing about the switch pod is that it doesn't have a quick.
What else about this thing do I like? 